Now, to produce these three sounds like a native speaker, all you have to do is put the tip of your tongue behind your bottom teeth like that. Behind your bottom teeth, so you kind of talk like this, okay? The tongue up. Now, what this actually does, when you put your, the tip of your tongue down here, it will actually bring the, the middle of your tongue up and it will create a little stream of air and that's what sort of makes it sound a bit weird, okay? Now, the bass pronunciations of this JQ and X are either Jitsi or Jutsu. Okay, so they're all with exactly the same tongue position. So let's focus on these top three first the JI, the QI, and the XI. All the same tongue position. So first we'll start off with J. So to say, to produce JI, all you have to do is say the word G, as in like G whiz, right? But put your tongue down to the position I mentioned before. So you put it down here and say G, G whiz. Right, and it just automatically happens. Now the key to these, all these three sounds, is to keep the, a fixed position in your mouth. In, in English, we tend to sort of move our tongue flopping everywhere like, as we're talking, right? Everything's sort of smooth and moving our lips, our tongues, at all, all times in a way. But in Chinese, a lot of the pronunciations are just fixed and robotic. So the, the, the tough thing about this won't be putting your tongue in the right place, it will be keeping it there throughout the whole sound, okay? So fix it down and say, Ji, and with QI, it's exactly like saying chi, chi. So if you say chi, like with the ch ch sound, but just put your tongue down to the position I mentioned, it just comes out chi. You got that t -t sound. It must be a quite a powerful explosion. I say it sounds like um, uh, getting a, a puncture in your tire. Right, just the air escapes quickly. It's very powerful. It's like a chi. You notice the sound comes in afterwards, right? You hear that chi, and then chi. It comes in afterwards. So chi. And the XI, in my opinion, is actually the easiest one. It's very smooth and soft. And it's after the punctures happened, and you just hear that air coming out slowly. So it's more like a chi, chi. All exactly the same. So just do it one more time. J I Q I X I, yeah? G, T, and C. Easy, right? Okay. Now, there are three more sounds that go with this J, Q, and X. The J, U, and the Q, U, and the X, U, but we'll get to that when we get to the very last umlaut U final.